Not that long ago, we were a tiny little startup with a crazy idea, and here we are getting ready to go public. So Investors worried by this year's fall in the value of riskier assets have shined be away from trading in cryptocurrency. Coinbase says it also expects trading. Brian Armstrong is the CEO of Coinbase. In 2010, Brian Armstrong read the Bitcoin white paper published by alias Satoshi Nakamoto and then began working for Airbnb and saw how difficult it was to send money to South America. Armstrong began writing Ruby and JavaScript code in any of his spare time to store cryptocurrencies. And in 2012, he entered the Y Combinator Startup Accelerator and received $150,000, which he used to start Coinbase. Since then, the company has gained approximately 103 million verified users, 14.5 thousand of those being institutions. And finally, on the 14th of April 2021, Coinbase went public. Welcome back to Fast Money. Coinbase announcing plans to go public via direct listing today. The cryptocurrency exchange also announcing its revenue has more than doubled in the past year, bringing in more than $1.1 billion in 20. And since then, things haven't gone so well. See, stocks that are within the blockchain space usually have a price that reflects the movement of the overall cryptocurrency markets. Bitcoin had an all-time high in May and November 2021 and Coinbase stocks did similar. But since then, Bitcoin has been in a downwards trend with the rest of the cryptocurrency market, and with it, it's taking Coinbase. We're hearing many people within the space shouting to buy the dip on cryptocurrency. And in today's news, we've heard that one CEO is buying the dip on Coinbase. Many investors in the traditional space choose to invest in blockchain-based stocks rather than investing in cryptocurrencies themselves so that they can gain exposure to the cryptocurrency space but without having to worry about securing their own tokens and looking after them in a secure way. This is the CEO and founder of Shopify. Shopify is an e-commerce platform and one of the few companies that actually benefit off COVID lockdowns. According to public disclosure records, he's bought approximately $3 million of Coinbase shares over the span of two months and roughly holds 65,000 shares, making him one of the highest shareholders of the company. Clearly, he's expecting the Coinbase stocks to recover, which shows his stance on cryptocurrency. If Coinbase were to recover, it can be assumed that the rest of the cryptocurrency market is recovering as well. So, are you buying the dip? That's all for today. If you want to hear more from us, check out our Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and come back tomorrow to our YouTube to see more cryptocurrency news.